Okay, so you're going to have one bat. A bat is a wooden disc like this per table. And then you're going to get a chunk of clay that your table will share. The first thing you want to do is roll out a slab. We've seen this before. I like to use my hand first to pound it out. It's always good to flip it occasionally. Pound it out some more. And then I'm going to come in with my rolling pin. Now with the rolling pin, one of your group members is going to roll it out. And you can rotate the bat. You can flip up your clay, flip it over. And you're trying to maximize the surface area. Get the biggest slab that you can without getting too thin. Flip it one more time. Now it's about the width of a pancake or the thickness of a pencil like that. And I'm going to trace out the practice faces of a house for my group members to do their practice slip and score. Every time we do this clay house, kids get so excited to start with their clay houses that they don't really pay attention to how you attach the wall. What you're going to do is you're going to use these half index cards and you're going to cut them out and then you're going to do a practice wall attaching with two of these cards. I'll show when you. When you put down your wall patterns, you want to maximize the space. Try to fit as many walls in here as possible. And then afterwards, you're going to use one of these cutting tools carefully to trace around your wall. This is just a practice for when we do our real clay walls. And then you're going to cut that out. Now I've cut out my two walls I'm going to attach. This will be my base. This is going to be the wall I'm going to attach right there. It's not a perfect rectangle, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to put the longest side along my base and attach here as my test in order to get more clay to start my actual project. Your first job is going to be to score. Scoring is scratching the surface of the clay that's going to be attached. And when I mean scratch, you're actually kind of digging into it. So I know I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to draw a line on the base so I know where to score the base. You have to score both surfaces. Now they're ready for slip. The next step is to add slip. Slip is basically like clay glue. It's a really wet clay. And you're going to put some slip on both surfaces that you have scored, kind of like a glue. Once the slip is on there, you're going to push both of your walls carefully so that the scored and slip surfaces match up. Push it down without bending your wall. And now you're almost there. Your last step is to make a little coil. Some kids like to make the coil by taking a little bit of extra clay from where you cut off your wall pieces. And then you just make a really skinny little worm out of clay. You don't want it to be too thick and you want it to be nice and wet. This little worm is going to go right where you put the two walls together and then you got to smooth it out so you don't see the coil anymore and what it's going to do is reinforce that wall you just put together and get rid of the seam or the line from where you attached it okay I did that side now I need to do the coil on this side and I'll be finished okay so I flip my test wall over and my last job will just be to put my final coil on the other side and smooth it in so you can no longer see where those two walls came together. Now this is my test that I'm going to show to the teacher to see if I'm ready to start building my house. The teacher may pull it apart like this to see if there's evidence of scoring and slipping in order for you to pass. If you pass your attaching walls test, you can put your clay back together like this, smash it up, roll it out, recycle it, and start cutting out your actual walls for your house and putting them in your Ziploc bag.